Hey, good evening, Jennifer. You're muted. Can can you hear me? I, I think I think you can't see me because my camera might not be working right now. How's everything? Can can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. How's everything? How was your day? Very good. Very good. Good. Working a lot, making a lot of activities. What about your health? Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm better? I'm, I'm better. I'm better. Thanks for asking. Yes. Yes. Uh yeah, uh, so they, they gave me like four days off because I gotta get some, you know, um appointments with the doctor. So I'm working on that. But but yeah, I'm I'm a little bit better, you know. Thanks for asking. Noah, how are you doing, Noah? Everything good? No, uh, <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Right. All right. So uh, today we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna continue talking about past perfect. Right. We had some. Uh, I think we had some some issues yesterday, guys. You can't see me, right? No. no. Okay. All right. I'll share the screen soon, guys. Okay. But yeah. Um. Give me one second. Yes. <laughs> How are you, Noah? How was your day? I'm fine, thank you. I do. I'm great. I'm great. Uh, I think I think your microphone was a little bit off. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And Claudia, welcome. How are you? Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm fine right. too. How how was work? Oh, pretty tired, but here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh so let me uh let me share the presentation, guys. So we continue talking about past perfect. Did you did you finish the exercises from yesterday? The past perfect exercises. Hold on, guys. All right. So, anyways, um, let me see if you can see me now, guys. Hold on. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. There, there I am. I guess. So, um, did you finish these exercises from yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So, uh, we're going to talk about a different combination today, guys. Um, so yesterday we talked about, uh, having simple past and past perfect tenses. Now we're going to go over, uh, past continuous combined with Past perfect tenses, okay? Remember, guys, if you want to, please turn on the cameras if you have your cameras. All right? So so I know we're not in the bathroom, okay? All right? So anyways, um, all right. So to get started, guys, okay, let's finish the exercises. I want you to complete with past simple, guys, or past perfect from the brackets. For example, right, uh, you could say Pam. You could either say Pam had to raise the back the back the blackboard before the teacher, right? So here, guys, right? You either you're either gonna use past perfect or simple past, and you're gonna use the words that we have here. Remember, guys, that if you use past perfect, you have to use a past participle verb. Okay. All right. So let's get started, guys. All right. Let's complete them. I'll give you five minutes to complete them all. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys.
<clears throat> send a message through everybody here. I'm just sending a message to everyone, guys. All right, so if you finish, guys, let me know, okay? And I'm here if you have any questions. Excuse me, David. I don't yes. see the last part of question five. Oh, okay. Uh, you don't oh, see. Oh, I already see it. Oh, you can see yeah. now. Okay. All right. For those of you joining us guys uh, just now, we're completing these exercises, okay? So complete them in your notebook. And it's basically, you know, here you have to either put this in simple past or past perfect, right? So you can say Pam, for, for example, Pam had already raised the blackboard before the teacher checked all the exams. Or you can say Pam erased the blackboard before the teacher had checked all the exams, right? whatever makes the most sense for you.
David, can you Tell move me. a little bit? Because I cannot see the number five. How, how can I move? I, I think yeah. I think you can move that, or you mean the oh you mean this? Hold on. Uh huh. Please. Okay. I think. All right. There you go. Better. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys, so let's answer them, okay? So what do we have for number one? Who wants to give me number one? Uh, Pan had erased the blackboard before the teacher, before the teacher uh, checked all the exams. All right, very good. Okay, so do, do we all have the same answer, guys? Pam had erased all the blackboard before the teacher checked all the exams. So which one happened first, right? That That's the question that you have to ask. So Pam, if we say Pam erased the blackboard before the teacher had checked all the exams, I think this, this way makes more sense, right? Pam had erased the blackboard before the teacher checked all the exams, right? So, is it better to say, guys, Pam había borrado la pizarra antes de que el profesor chequeara todos los, uh, chequeó, uh, chequeara todos los exámenes, or Pam eh, borró la pizarra antes de que el teacher había uh, chequeado todos los exámenes? Which one makes more sense, right? So, I think this makes more sense. Very good. Good job, Carla. Okay, number two, guys. Um, Another volunteer who wants to give me number two. Um, Sam, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. Sam had done the homework by the time his mom returned home. Very good. Return home, right? Very good. So, okay, so he finished his homework first and then his mom uh, returned home, right? Very good job. That is correct. Okay, very good. By the time, guys, means when, okay? It's like saying when. Thank you very much, Jennifer. All right, uh, next one, guys. I need another volunteer. Mary? Yes, Noah, let's go. Mary has finished, finished, finished. Has finished. Uh -huh. Finished. I pray it. Mm hmm Uh, uh, time her mother arrived. Very good. Good job. That is correct. Yes. That is perfect. Okay. And you'll see, guys, okay, this is where we're going to be talking about today. You can see number three, guys, is kind of complex, right? Mary had finished her project, past perfect, and was walking with her dog, past continuous, by the time her mother arrived home, past simple. See, we have three tenses right there. Thank you. Thank you very much, right? Number four, guys, another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, by the time Kate had um, got it, got it, got it, uh -huh. at the bus stop, and the bus uh, already left. Okay, all right. I don't understand. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Analyze it yourself. Okay, I want you to. Okay, so you so you can understand this part, guys. Let me ask you something. What happens? Mm -hmm. What happened first, Alexander? This, guys. What ha What happened first? That's what you have to ask yourselves, right? What happened first? What What was the first action here, Alexander? Mm -hmm. And Kate. Keith. Keith. And, uh, uh, Keith, uh, got the bus. Was that the first? Okay. So imagine that you're talking, you have, 
The first dash, uh, put, uh -huh. put them in order. Put them in order. What happens first? Um, the second one. The bus. The second one. I mean, had already lived. No, no. Left, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, so this one happened first. The bus. The bus. Had yes. Okay. Uh -huh had already left, right? Very good. So mm -hmm. here, by the time Keith, what? Got the bus. Got, very good. That is the right answer, okay? Remember, guys, whatever happened first goes in past, per in, in past perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So we say, hey, you know what? Uh, by the time Keith got to the bus stop, the bus had already left, right? Para cuando Keith llegó a la parada de bus, el bus ya se había ido. Does that make sense, guys? So that's correct, mm -hmm. Alexander. Thank you. Okay. Right. That is absolutely correct. All right, number five. What will be number five? Another volunteer. Let's see. I'm going to pick guys then. Um, uh, maybe Dulce? Or Natalie? Natalie means better. <laughs> um, it it had a start, started to rain when uh, Mary... It has started to rain. Okay, he has started when to rain. And Mary left, left at school. Okay, uh, when Mary left school. Do we all have the same answer, guys? It has started to rain yeah. when Mary left school. Is that correct? I think it's cool. All right, había empezado a llover cuando Mary salió de su escuela, right? That is correct. All right, very good, guys. Okay, you guys are correct. Okay, all right, so let's learn, guys, about the new topic today, right? So we're going to learn about negatives and combining, right? Combining past continuous with past perfect, too. Okay, all right, so notice, notice, guys, that for negative, we simply add not, okay? Remember the had, that, that had is the auxiliary, okay? Had is the auxiliary. And then we have the particle not right afterwards, okay? And you can also say hadn't. Repeat, guys, hadn't. 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 Hadn't, okay? Hadn't. Okay? Um, she had not met. He had not played. He, I had not rained. It had not rained, I'm sorry. We had not bought, right? They had not started, okay? So notice, guys, okay? Notice that we can use it in that way, okay? So so let me ask you something, guys. Let's see. Yesterday, I asked you this question. Let me, how can I, hold on, guys. Let me try to see if I can hide this. Uh, that's where... I think well, I think that this is good. Okay. All right. Anyways, so let me ask you something, guys. So, so what is the problem with with saying it had rained, I had run, he had left, uh, they had come, we had sung. So, so what's uh, so what's wrong with saying these phrases? Are they in past perfect? Is this grammatically correct? Yes or no? Guys? Yes. They are grammatically correct, but they're but 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 they're incorrect. They they are incorrect, guys. But why? I mean they are grammatically correct, but it's not good it's not okay to 
type in like this. Because they don't make sense, guys. Think about it, in, even in Spanish. If I say, hey, Maria, había llovido. Do you need more information? Yes or no, guys? Yeah, yeah. yes, it is incomplete. Yes. Sounds like it's incomplete. Yes, it is incomplete. It sounds like it's incomplete. And I'll tell you what the problem is, okay? Let's say that, I don't know, let's say that you work at a customer, uh, at a call center, right? And uh, and you tell your customer, you know, this is you, right? And you say, hey, sir, I had accessed your account. Okay. So check this out, guys. I had access to your account, right? Then the customer will say, what would you say, guys? What would you say if somebody, somebody says something like this? You would say? You know, who gave you access, right? Okay. And this is not what you wanted to say. So here's the problem, right? Like this, right? I would be saying, había accesado su cuenta. Yo había accesado su cuenta, right? Very different. And what you wanted to say instead was, you know, I accessed, right? I accessed your account. Hey, uh, ya accesé su cuenta, right? In that moment, okay? So if you say something like this, you know, it sounds like you're saying, you know, before you called, see? If you don't use guys past, uh, simple past, you know, it gets confusing, right? Because uh, your our brain is automatically putting another action in between. Guys, that is the reason, that, that, is, that is the reason why we use past perfect to talk about an action before another action in the past, okay? In the past, all right? Yesterday, I think we saw a timeline that went like this, right? And you have, you had uh, over here, uh simple let's say that this is simple prison right this is gonna be oh my god why can i not do this hold on all right anyways so i had guys something like this right um something like oh my god okay so let's say that this is going to be the present, okay? And then this right here. Oh my God. Present. All right, and this is gonna be the past. And then this is going to be the, you know, the past too, okay? All right. So here, guys, I'm going to say, I give me a sentence in the past, guys. Give me a sentence in the past. Any sentence in the past. I... Uh, simple past, no. Mm -hmm. I what? I uh, I ran. I ran. Uh, uh, yes. I ran. I ran. Uh, I, ran. One... Uh, I ran. I ran one mile. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now I need another volunteer to tell me something that happened before. I ran a mile. Tell me, guys, okay? Corri una milla. ¿Qué hice antes? What did I do before? Tell me what happened before. And it can be in past progressive, okay? Even if it isn't past progressive, tell me, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, can be... I had 
drunk a little water. Very good. Okay, so you can say, I had drunk a lot of water. Okay, very good. Okay. And then, guys, in between, I can even say, over here, guys, I can even say, oh, I was getting tired, you know? No, like here, let, you know what? Over here. Yeah, let's let's put it here, right? I was getting tired, okay? And this is past progressive, right? Am I right? All right, so this is going to be past progressive here, okay? You Past progressive guys can go after past or, you know, but, but after past perfect, okay? So let's join these sentences together, right? So notice, it's very simple, right? So I can say I had drunk a lot of water uh, because I was getting tired after I ran one mile. See? Beautiful, right? Uf, había bebido un montón de agua porque me estaba, había, me estaba, me estaba quedando, me había estado quedando cansado. That's such a bad translation. Porque me estaba cansando, ¿ok? That's what I wanted to say. Porque me estaba cansando después de haber corrido por una, por, eh, corrido una mía. Does that make sense? All right. So you can combine them, right? Why, guys, past perfect will only be used in the circumstances of, hey, you want to talk about multiple actions in the past, ¿ok? So that's why past perfect is important. Important. You want to place an order on things, right? So if we take a look at another example here, right? We can say, um, oh, I, my mom was, was, uh, my mom was running. I don't know. Well, my mom was talking to her best friend, um, before I had um, come home. Right? Can I say this? My mom was talking to her best friend and says friend. Friend. Before I had come home. Antes de que yo hubiese llegado a casa. Right? I can say this, right? So now, even even if you place, you know, past perfect, I mean, the, the first action, guys, was happening before now, because I'm using this phrase before, right? If we say after, let's say after, my mom had, was talking to her best friend after I had come home, right? You can say this, but then, you know, uh, I came home first, and then she was talking to her best friend, right? So this also modifies, guys, the order, okay? My mom was talking to her best friend before I had come home. Mm. So can can we say this, guys? Would this be, would this make sense to you? Yes. All right. My mom was talking to her best friend before. You know, I had come home. All right. Very good. So we can use it like that, yes, okay? So what do we do with negatives? So negatives, guys, is simple. You can say this, okay? Uh, if I say I had cleaned the kitchen um, after uh, I had cleaned the kitchen when Let's say before, before my girlfriend arrived, okay? So I can say this, right? But I can also say, guys, right? I had not cleaned the kitchen before my girlfriend arrived. See, and you can also say, I 
had, I hadn't, right? I hadn't cleaned the kitchen before my girlfriend arrived. Right? You can also say this, okay? So, talking in negative form, guys, is very is is, is very very um, easy because you can simply add not after had, okay? You can also use negative, guys, in, in simple past, right? It's, you know, I had cleaned the kitchen before. I, I mean, in this, in this case, guys, we are not going to use simple past here because it doesn't make sense. I had cleaned the kitchen before my girlfriend didn't arrive, right? Mm -mm. Okay. You can say I had cleaned the kitchen and my girlfriend didn't arrive okay you can say that all right guys it's just whatever makes sense okay when you're talking it has to make sense okay i'm not using before now right you can say because my girlfriend had arrived right do not follow there there's it has to make sense guys the idea you know something can be incorrect even though it it might it might look like grammatically correct right but when you when you uh, when you speak it, guys, it's got to make sense, okay? Because this literal says, había limpiado la cocina y mi, girl, y, mi, y mi novia no llegó. Got it? Tiene sentido en español también, yes? But if I say, guys, before my girlfriend didn't arrive, doesn't make sense. Había limpiado la cocina antes de que mi novia no llegara. Does that make sense? I mean, it is grammatically correct, but it doesn't make sense, not even in Spanish. You got it? So that's yeah. why, right? You have to make sense of the idea, right? Because at the end of the day, it's communication. Yes, I'm sorry. Did you have a question? Teacher. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, um, when we use, we use a, a question. When when do we when do we use questions? Uh huh. Uh, what is the change in uh, how? We're gonna we're gonna talk about questions. We're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay, we're gonna get there. Okay. The whole point right now, guys. Okay, is hey, you know what? We have to make sense of of the idea first. Okay. Right. So do my favor, guys. Everyone in the chat, guys, send me one example of uh without any mistakes okay one example guys of a sentence in negative form in third person in past perfect and combined with uh either past continuous or simple past right so for example he had not come home after i talked to him no había llegado a casa después de que yo hablara con él Okay. Or you can say before in this case, before I talk to him. Okay. All right. So give me a sentence, guys, like this. You can use and just make sure it makes sense. Okay. And it is in third person and negative. All right. Let's make it third person negative. All right. I'm going to give you one minute, guys.
All right, so I got one answer so far. Thank you, Carla, All right? She had not eaten a lot of puss when she started to dance. Okay, very good, good job. Imagine saying something like that in Spanish. Ella no había comido un montón de pupusas antes de que empezara a bailar. All right, very good. Well, that, that would make sense, right? Because if she had eaten pupusas before she started dancing, you know, maybe she might have wanted to go to the bathroom, right? I don't know. Thank you, Carla. That was good. Maria Concepcion, they had not... Now, uh, Maria, I would ask you to look for the past participle form of the verb eat because you're saying ate right ate is simple past just change that and it, it will be great they have not right and they say ate very fast breakfast when the teacher called everything is great just uh, look for the right verb in past participle right very good alexander she had not done her homework before she went to high school good job Thank you, Alexander. That makes sense. She hadn't done her homework when her friend invited. Okay, Natalie, let's analyze that. Uh, she hadn't done her homework when her friend invited invited who? You're missing the object pronoun. Invited her, right? I think we're missing the object pronoun, her, to go out. Okay, but very good job, Natalie. He had worked this day because, because we're rest. He had, okay, you can say he had worked this day or he had worked on this. Okay, it would. Okay, so if you want to say this day, you need to say it like this: He had worked on this day because. Was. It, I, I, was. No, no, I don't know what you want to say there because you need to. You're missing the pronoun, right? Because who? Okay. Uh, uh he had been a teacher, worker. What, what do you want to what what do you want to say in Spanish? I'm not I don't know. Okay, okay, so he had okay. So he had not worked today because he was resting. He was resting. He was resting. Okay. That's a good combination of Last continuous, right? Very good. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. All right, let's uh, let's see. I I have Carla, guys, Maria Concepcion, Alexander, Natalie, Noah, and I'm waiting for everybody else. So um, so send me your examples, guys. Okay. All right, we're gonna move on, guys, because of the time. Uh, but please send me your examples because I need to know that we understand, right? Very good. Any questions, guys, about this so far? Questions, questions? We're good? Teacher, en español. Tell me. Eh, solo le preguntaba cuando usamos el presente perfecto en pregunta. Presente, but we're not. That's a, that's a different. Es diferente. That, no, that's a different topic. Are, oh, you say, okay. are you trying to say past perfect? Or present perfect? No, past perfect. Excuse me. Yes. We we are going to talk about that right now, about making questions in past perfect. Yes. Um, past perfect. Yes. So what is your question then? Eh, cuando hacemos preguntas. Uh-huh. Si al principio, ha o primero el sujeto. Okay, we, we are going to talk about making questions right now, okay? That's the next part of the topic. Okay. 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 So, yes, right? Very good. Uh, Maria Consume, my dad had not run when, when, you're missing the pronoun, right? When he, 
right? Mm -hmm. Guys, in English, we need pronouns when we write a phrase, okay? Uh, very good, Maria. Just the pronoun, okay? Jennifer, they hadn't gotten home when it started to rain. Very good. That is perfect, okay? Good job, guys. All right, guys, so how do we make questions, okay? Easy peasy, guys. We follow this the same structure, everything else. Do say I have not done my homework. I have not done my homework yet. It's in present perfect. All right, very good. So, all right, so what do we do, guys? Okay, first of all, guys, we use had, okay? And then what comes after had, guys? This is the auxiliary, right? Now, this is if you want to do, I'm sorry, this is if you want to do a yes or no question, okay? For yes or no questions, guys, right? We need had plus, what else, guys? What comes after it? What do you think? Subject. Very good. So we have, right, so we have the subject, okay? And what else? Better. Better. Verb in what? Just a verb? Uh, uh, pass, uh, participle. Okay, so we need a very good. So we need a past participle. Very good. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, um, let's complement. Complement. Okay, be careful with this complement because this complement should. Needs to be either, you know, simple, fast, right? All right. You need, yes, we need a compliment, but it's going to be a different test, right? And we also need a question mark, okay? Don't forget the question. Now, what if you want to do a WH question? What comes first? Uh, WH. Very good. A WH word. What uh, else? Plus. Plus had. Uh, yeah, very good. So the same thing, right? Plus subject, plus past participle, right? Plus question mark, okay? All right. So let's take a look at examples. So what will be the first example? Hey, had, had um, I don't know, guys. Chayanne. I'm very creative, guys. All right, so had Cheyenne, guys, um, had Cheyenne come to the party, right? Now, you're saying compliment, guys, but again, we're going to use the same. We're going to do the same thing that we were using before, right? We need a, a point of reference. Necesitamos una referencia siempre, guys, when we talk in past perfect, okay? Had Cheyenne come to the party before Jennifer? Came. We can even say before Jennifer, guys, because we're talking about come, right? It's number. Had Chan come to the party before Jennifer came? All right. If I'm there, right? We, we could say before Jennifer arrived. So see, guys, this part right here. Okay. Before Jennifer arrived, this is simple past, right? And this is past perfect. See, had Chan come to the party before Jennifer arrived? Oh, what are we missing here, guys? There's something missing here. The question mark. Yes, the question mark, right? All right. So the answer, what will be the answer? How would you answer this question, guys? Uh, yes, okay, we yeah. come to the party. Jesse, come. Yes, yes, he come. The party. To the party. Yes, he come to the party. All right. So yes, he come to the party. Like this. Yes, he come to the party. Are we one hundred percent sure? He had come to the party. Very good. He had right. Yes, he had. Okay, simple as that. Or you can, see, if you want to do a complete answer, right? He had come to the party, right? Right, very good, good job. What about, what about this? Um, what about this sentence, guys, in past perfect? You had a car. Is this correct, guys? 
Is this correct in past perfect? Mm, no, because no. we don't have a past passive, past passive, past passive. Very good, right? So what is this then? Can I say you had a car? Uh, simple past. Exactly, there you go, guys. Just because you have this word over here doesn't mean that that's past perfect, right? This, guys, if you only have one, guys, okay, if you don't use it as an auxiliary, it's not simple past. I mean, it's not past perfect, right? It is simple past. Very good. Good notice, guys, okay? All right, very good, guys. So, okay, can we say, you know, had he eaten a lot yesterday? Had he eaten a lot yesterday? Now, you can also leave it like that, guys, if you know the context, okay? If you know what I'm talking about. Hey, había comido un montón él ayer? You can say, yes, you know, yes, he had. Why? Then you might be wondering why, right? If you only ask a question like this, guys, and, and you don't give context, people will ask why, right? Porque si yo digo, Hey, ¿había comido él bastante ayer? Sí, sí, sí había comido bastante. Y vos te preguntas, hey, ¿por qué me está preguntando eso? Right? Got it? But yeah, you can ask a question like this, okay? But you need you need to give context. Because if, if not, people will get confused, right? So uh, what would be a way of uh, ending this question? Like what, what could we, how could we complement this question, guys? How could you complement it? Tell me. Which one? The, the last one? Yeah, he had eaten a lot yesterday. I mean, had uh, he eaten, right? I'm sorry. He, he. <laughs> had he eaten a lot yesterday? <laughs> there could be a, a question that a doctor makes, like, <laughs> had okay. he eaten a lot yesterday before he threw how do you say vomit like <laughs> before he, he vomit had he eaten a lot yesterday okay okay be okay be, before right he threw up right had he eaten a lot yesterday before he threw up very good yes thank you thank you jennifer right very good Había comido él bastante antes de que vomitara, right? Very good. Good job. See, so this is how you can you can complement that. Okay. Now, guys, we have. Um, let's have one more yes or no question, and then we move over to the the WH questions. Okay. So it's your turn, guys. Everybody, ask me a question. Ask me a question in past perfect. Okay. Think about something funny to ask me if you want or something interesting okay let's see eric cardoza ask me a question in past perfect a yes or no question in past perfect are we there eric all right very good let's go with claudia rivas ask me a question in past perfect in past perfect uh-huh okay had you had you eaten your breakfast today? Okay. Had you eaten your breakfast today? We're missing something there, right? We need more information. The reason why is this, okay? This is good. Okay. That is a perfect structure, right? However, guys, why do we need more information? Because you can simply say, did you eat your breakfast today, right? So if okay. we do not have a point, another, you know, point of reference, we should be using simple past, right? Because, okay. so what would be the rest of the question? Me, teacher. Hold, hold on, all right, let, let me, let Claudia finish and then you tell me, okay, thank you. Yeah, I thank you. Um, have you eaten your breakfast today? Um, before, mm -hmm. before you 
the past of brush brush your teeth before you brushed your yes. teeth perfect okay good job okay good okay. job thank you thank you very much claudia very good okay yes thank you thank you okay noah go ahead noah okay teacher um how you ever gone to the united states before to give the to give class in english before what have you ever gone to the United States and uh, after, no, before, before you give class or, or English? Before you started teaching, you want to say. <laughs> so, had you ever gone to the U.S. United before States? you started teaching? Yes. Okay, yes, that is. A good question, but the, the 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 question structure would be: How do you ever gone to? Had you ever gone to the U.S. before you started teaching, right? Okay. Habías alguna vez ido a los Estados Unidos antes de empezar a enseñar, right? Very good. Because before you started to teach, right? Very good. Good job, man. Good job. That is great. Okay. Um. Next one. Um. Maybe Natalie. Um, um have you left with your friends before you gave the class? How do you left right with your friends before you delivered the class? Okay. How do you left with your friends before you delivered the class? Right? There should be you wanna hold on, what do you mean by left? Do you want to say like, salir a divertirse? Is that what you want to say? Or mm -hmm. salir de salir del cuarto? Salir a divertirse. Okay, so the verb is not left. Left is like when you leave a room. For example, you leave the, my room, right? So that would be left. So then, had you, you know, gone out? Okay, that mm -hmm. would be the verb. All right, the phrasal verb. Had you gone out with your friends before you deliver the class? Very good. Good job. Great, right? This would be a question, guys, that you would ask if your teacher was drunk. Like if your teacher was smelling like like liquor, you know? <laughs> liquor. All right. Sentís el patín, right? And you ask, you know, hey, había salido con tu amigo a beber antes, right? No. Before you leave the class. All right, very good. Thank you, Natalie. Okay? So this is how you make questions, guys. Okay? This is how you make questions in simple yes or no questions in past perfect. Right now, what about WH questions? Okay, I can say, What had you eaten before you came here? Okay, now you're not gonna say, Yes, I had. Right, this is not a yes or no question. Right, this is an open ended question, so you can give a lot of information when asked. Yeah, you know what? I had eaten a lot of chicken, right? Whatever, uh, where, right. Ask me a question with where, guys? Volunteers? Where? Where what? Um, where are you? Mm -hmm. Alexander? Yes. Uh, gone. Gone. Where okay. had you gone? Where had you gone? Okay. Mm -hmm. Before the class. Before the class. I like this, right? Very simple. Where had you gone before the class? Very good. Okay. Good job. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. Ask me another question. Let's see. Carla. Let's go with when. When. Let's you do one with when. Mm -hmm. When have you mm -hmm. um, started? 
When had you started? Very good. Mm. The class. Very good. Okay. When had you started the class? Okay, I like this. Good job. Thank you, Carla. Um, okay, let's go with uh, uh, Jennifer. Let's go one with how. Let's have one with how. Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer Ray. Who wants to give me one with how, guys? Anybody? And one with, and one with why? Do it in your notebook first if you don't know how to ask it, right? Mm -hmm. Why had you taken? Mm -hmm. uh, the bus? Why had you taken the bus? Very good. Why had you taken the bus? Okay, very good. Good job. What about how, guys? Uh, how had you? Uh -huh. How had studied. you studied? Studied? Uh -huh. How had you studied? Okay, very Can good. Can I say? Hmm? Can I say how you how had you studied and work 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 and at work. the same time? Yes, you can do that. Very good. Yes, how had you studied and work? Yes, you can do that. That is a very very good point. Yes, guys, you can say how had you studied, you know, worked, and had a girlfriend. Right. Uh, all at the same time. Right? It's like saying, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo habías estudiado, trabajado y tenido una novia todo al mismo tiempo? Sí? Mm -hmm. Very good. Got it? All right. Very good. Good, good, good point. Okay. Good point from Carla, guys. Okay. All right. Yes. So you can, you can, uh, I mean, guys, it, it's just talking, right? It's not, mathematics uh so it, languages guys you have to see them like that right so it's not a math form well they do have you know a grammar structures uh they do have a grammar structure that you can take as a math uh formula if you, if you want or syntax you know that, that would be a better uh way of approaching it approaching it but in reality guys okay you know it's gotta make sense whatever you talk guys gets you know it's got to make sense okay that's it right any questions, guys? Any more questions about past perfect? Did we learn anything new today? Right? Did we learn how to make yes. questions? Yes. Okay, sure. very good, very good. Okay. Thank you very right. much. So uh, tomorrow we have a class. Okay. We do have a class. So please join. All right. I'm sorry I was not able to join uh, two days ago, but I was I was at the hospital, right? So uh, but yes, please join tomorrow, guys, and we're going to go over the platform tomorrow, right? So tomorrow okay. we're going to finish, you know, section four from the platform. So please join, all right? Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.